Hi, my name is Victor. I am the founder of Airfox. Airfox provides financial technology for the low income. We employ over 100 people across the world, with at least half of those being in the United States. And we just went through an acquisition and have raised over 30 million to date. You see, I grew up in Brazil in a small town in Minas Gerais. I came to this country when I was 12 years old. Typical American immigrant story. My parents sold everything. I didn't have a choice. And in hopes for a better life, you know, after decades of suffering in a country that had not only a military dictatorship until the 80s, but hyperinflation as well, we came here legally. Um, and despite all the struggles, not knowing English, not only did we not only did we survive, but we thrived. And those struggles are extremely important in shaping who I became um, and gave me, I, I believe, and I see that now, a different perspective of what it's like to struggle, to suffer. Uh, and above all, knowing that this great country provides such um, a path towards a better socioeconomic status, a better life, and of course, the pursuit of happiness. I think in English. Um, I dream in English. <laughs> Um, everything I do has been for this country. Um, and I don't see myself in Brazil. Yet, as a DACA recipient, um, this is not clear-cut because I'm still not a legal citizen of the United States despite being here for over a decade and a half. This was something that I was ashamed of that I did not want to talk about, but I felt a personal responsibility with what was going on in this country to come out and tell my story, not because I benefit. In fact, a lot of people, investors included, discourage me to do this. However, um, I want people to see us for who we truly are, and I'm not the only ones. There are DACA that are doctors, that are teachers, that are helping their community. The future is unknown, but there's hope. There's a hope that America will embrace its values of fostering immigration that has been a positive net ad for the country, for the community. How can we build bridges and not walls? I still have hope for this country and I have hope for what the future holds because we have the infrastructure to muster the strength to look and realize how much benefit immigrants can add to the country. And I truly believe that.